Hello once again, this is Brother Teacher. Have you ever known or even just simply witnessed an individual that professed to know uh, of God being active in their lives? that God was actively blessing them and God was just simply active in their lives and this individual or these individuals would often say that God has me or God got me and I'm good but these people would constantly complain constant, profound complainers at the same time. Always talking about their troubles. What they're going through. Woe is me. I'm going through this. Someone has done me wrong song types of individuals. I hope that this is not you. So my point is this, either you believe that the Creator, God, is active in your life and is playing a part in your life that's positive, or you don't. Which one is it? You know, one of the most unfortunate things with people who profess to be children of God or Christians and even Muslims or just people of faith in general is that they think that they are not supposed to go through things as human beings you're not supposed to have calamity. You're not supposed to go through trauma, drama. You're not supposed to have tragedy occur in your life. Your children are not supposed to get deathly ill. You're not supposed to get deathly ill. You're not supposed to contract cancer. Your family members close to you are not supposed to die, be involved in uh, tragic car wrecks and drown in swimming pools and things of this sort. You're not supposed to lose your job, get into major confrontations with people on the street. No one is supposed to mug you or rob you or rape is out of the uh, imagination nothing life threatening is ever supposed to happen to you as a human being because you have a relationship with God so what I'm saying is this what world do you think that you live in as a human being if you think that you are somehow void of experiencing what other human beings experience just because you have a relationship with God, the eternal God. I mean, if you study the scriptures, you will find that men that were close to God, that were prophets, were beheaded, lost their lives at the hands of other men, got their heads chopped off, were tortured, were placed in prison, had all manner of things happen to them in terms of cruelty. Even our Savior, Jesus, Yeshua, was hung, tortured, spat upon, uh, a spear stuck thrust through him 
and that was the Son of God. What makes you think that you're better? Are you serious? But we walk around here thinking that, oh, I've got cancer. And we complain about, oh, I'm going through chemotherapy. I'm going through these radiation treatments. I broke my leg and I'm going through this, but God got me. You complain day in and day out. I just lost my job. Oh, I don't have enough money to pay this and I don't have enough money to pay that. My girlfriend left me. Yes. And I see people from time to time and we greet one another, just different people from time to time. It can even be strangers or people that I know as an acquaintance. How are you doing today? Uh, uh, I'm blessed and highly favored. It's a common response by some people. Five minutes later, they're complaining talking about all of their problems. Isn't this the individual that just said that they were blessed and highly favored? Why are you complaining? Every few minutes, they're talking about how many problems that they have. I mean, can we ever say anything good? It is so interesting to me how we can magnify all of the negative things in our lives. We can accept the good things that the Creator does for us, or the good things that occur in our lives. But when we have hardship, we drop our heads in despair. One thing that I can say about myself and this is being perfectly honest and I know my friends and my associates and even my family foremost can attest to they never hear me complain and I have complaints like anyone else you never hear me oh woe is me I'm going through this and I'm going through that and I have this problem and I have that problem and again I have problems like the next person. I have arthritic hips. I still train to the best of my ability. I still teach martial arts. And I walk from my house to my store every single day. And back home every single day. And I never complain. The people in my neighborhood know me. The business people in my neighborhood know me. They know me very well. I never complain. And if I'm not at my business, I'll get a phone call. You all right? If I was not there, if I'm not at work, are you okay? Because I have a routine. They know that I'm disciplined. And every night before I retire, go to bed, most of the time, I train before I go to bed. I do. And I'm in pain arthritically most of the time. And as I said, I can complain but I don't, but I'm grateful. I know people who are worse off than I am, and I see it all of the time. Now here recently, several weeks ago, I had a small stroke in my eye and lost a very small portion of my sight due to lack of blood flow. I have most of my vision, the vast majority of my vision I have, but you know what? You don't hear me complaining. 
99% of the people that are watching me on my videos have never even known that. I haven't not even mentioned it until right now. But I'm like, oh, woe is me. I'm grateful to be here. And I'm here doing my videos. I haven't dropped my head and said, oh, look what God has done to me. Oh my goodness. I'm in despair. God got me. And then start complaining again. Those stories that I hear all of the time about how bad life is and then saying God got me. No. God has me. The Creator has me. Yahweh has me all of the time through my good and my bad times. And I know that the Scripture says it's through Him that I live and that I move and that I have my being. That I have my very existence and without Him I am nothing. None of us is anything. And I'm grateful to have this reasonable portion of health and strength. This amount. Because I know people personally who are legally blind. And I know people personally who have only one eye. I do. I could have lost my whole eye could have lost both eyes. So I'm grateful for what I do have. A reasonable portion of health and strength. And I can still articulate. I've had two strokes, small strokes, in the past two years. And I had a third stroke in my eye never smoked, never drank, never did drugs, been in martial arts for 53 years. I attribute it to God first, Yahweh, and the fact that I've never done those other things, and that strength, which is what kept me where I'm not paralyzed on one side of my body, I still have the ability to still do what I do. I'm grateful. A lot of people don't have that testimony. And I'm still, I'm still fast. I can still do the things, for the most part, within reason, that I've done two-thirds of my life. This is Brother Teacher. I want to admonish you today to keep your faith, to trust in the Almighty, and stop complaining and be grateful for what you have. Trust the Almighty, acknowledge Him in all your ways, and He shall direct your path. Be blessed. Yahweh loves you. And as always, I love you. And so long.